Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elia, I'm E. Weber. And today I'll be showing you guys how to paint this young lady's nose. Okay guys, getting right into it. Here are a couple things that I usually use as I'm painting portraits. Uh, grab me a pair of rubber gloves. Usually Amazon um, box of those, 50 of them. Also a uh, paper plate. No foam plates, please. No foam plates. Turpentine will bleed right through, through the foam. So we also need turpentine. Okay, here are a couple of brushes. We have a noodle, needle brush and also a small paint brush. I use both of those. And my Dollar Tree glasses. Yep, I said it, Dollar Tree. So I can see my pieces a little closer and also just some paper, towel or napkin. Grab my iPad and what I usually do with the iPad to get it close up, that's why I don't use images. I just grab them off of uh, the iPad and I blow them up like such and we're gonna start with her nose before we get to other videos. So this video will be, will be all about her nose. Blown it up like this so you guys can see it a little closer. And here's my plate with my paint on the plate. Keeping it simple, that first color is black, then blue, white, yellow, yellowish orange, red, purple, orangish red, we got sienna, and then a darker brown, and then we have green. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start mixing more of a peach color with the orangish red. Um, and also, I'm gonna add a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of brown on my plate first. Remember, mix colors on your plate first before you actually put them on the canvas board. And as you see peach on the nose, then that's where you put peach. If you see white, if you see browns, so that's where you're adding the color. So I'm just kind of quickly showing you guys how to blend the colors together and then also put them on the canvas board in the right places. Around the edges I'm doing now, adding green, purple, white, and a little bit of dark brown to line or outline the nostrils. Um, with lining the nostrils, if you look at the actual um, image of whoever you're trying to paint, um, of course you guys don't have that image now, but whoever you guys are trying to paint, um, if, if you look at the nostrils and or around the nostrils where you see like a crease, a skin crease or lines, um, that's where you want to kind of add the darker tones just to, so you guys won't go too far outside of the lines when you're painting. Sometimes we get so comfortable to where we'll just keep painting and painting. Oh, I need it to be more white or more, more yellow or whatever color you want to add. And you don't realize that you're actually going more and more outside of the line. So it's kind of like give yourself a crease, um, the nostrils and the side of the nose. But okay, so right here I'm adding a little red and I'm doing a dotted lines. I'm doing red and doing sienna, dark brown. I'm doing like a dotted line, um, circular line or putting my dots in a circular motion going around the tip of the nose where this white part is. And I'm just making like a circular motion with that. Um, if you see to the side of that, you see uh, the, the sienna, more sienna, which is the reddish, reddish, um, brownish, adding a little more of that, doing the same thing in that circular motion. I'm also highlighting her nostrils and then giving myself that crease that I was expecting to have, putting a little more freckles on her face and just kind of bringing her nostrils out and bringing her nose out by putting that crease and adding freckles and, and bringing the highlights in where they need to be with the white. And so here I am with her nose, just giving you guys an up close, seeing the dots, the circular lines and the freckles. And here is her nose up close before we move on to the next video. You guys stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bells. That way you are notified as soon as I post another video. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.